nine wins and one loss. The Bobcats are just coming off a big win for the Appalachian Conference Championship, a 12 to six victory over the United Lions in uh, somewhat of an upset. upset. The winner of this game tonight would advance to the Class A District 6 final next Friday night against the winner of Bishop McCourt and Connemaw Valley. And that game will be played at Point Stadium in Johnstown next Friday night. I'd like to introduce my uh, partner on the, tele on the radio broadcast tonight, the head coach of the Blairsville Bobcat basketball team, Jack Hawk Serena. Hawk, welcome to the uh, District 6 playoffs. That's, uh, I'm glad to be here. We have a cool, crisp night. Uh, the fans are full. Cool. The cheerleaders and uh, students of uh, Blairsville High School are lined up in the middle of the field, and the players are being introduced right now. Okay, Hawk, we're going to have a uh, two teams with uh, pretty much uh, mirror images offensively and defensively. Uh, West Branch in with a nine win, one loss record, and uh, they have some outstanding talent. They have a, a passer who's passed over 1,000 yards, as has our quarterback, Danny Shirley. Danny Shor Shirley, the junior signal caller, who had the big game last uh, Friday night against United and uh, going over 1,000 yards passing, and that's the uh, first time in uh, uh, many a moon that uh, Blairsville has come up with a quarterback that has passed over a thousand yards. Probably Rex, since maybe Donnie Casperi. Uh, uh, Blairsville hasn't featured a passing game uh, during uh, the reign of Ernie Widmar. Uh, they were a uh, keep the ball on the ground, uh, play good defense, uh, get good field position, and uh, wait for their team to make a mistake. Uh, whenever they did pass, uh, usually it succeeded, however, and uh, they were often uh, respected for their famous jump pass that uh, often uh, picked up crucial first downs for them or scored uh, game-winning touchdowns for them. How much can you tell us about West Branch? Well, 9-1 West, West Branch Rex is led by their two 1,000-yard players, running back Dan Seafrich, who's gained 1,040 yards, and quarterback Dave Luther, who's thrown for 1,154 yards and completed 61% of his passes. 40 of them to tight end Bill Williams. Like Blairsville, the Warriors are looking for their first District 6 playoff win. Like Blairsville, they have a balanced attack. They can effectively run the ball and actually throw the football. Like Blairsville, they don't quit. They don't panic, and they play 48 minutes of football because they've won three games this season in the last quarter. In fact, on offense, the Bobcats play fields if they're seeing themselves play. The Warriors are a full and two-dimensional team who has big play possibilities. The Bobcat defense will be truly tested tonight, Rex, but this is not the news. Ever since the first United game, the Cats have been in a must-win situation. That's seven games in a row. Can you imagine the pressure on this team to get it up and get it going for the past eight weeks? Now they've got to do it again. If they aren't already satisfied with being the Appalachian Conference champions, I think they can do it again. Defense wins big game, and the Bobcats, on the average, only give up eight points a game. We can't do anything now, but just wait and see what happens. Okay, Hawk, uh, we have the captains out in the middle of the field now. Captains for West Branch are seventy-three. Race the Wilson. Get us back there. Terry gets back. You hear it? No, I hear it. It's still running commercial. We're back at Penn's Manor Field where Blairsville receives the kickoff. Uh, it's 
It's a short kick by Saprish, taken by uh, Ray Sabolski, the up man, who gets back to the 32-yard line where Brosel takes over first and 10. John Silco gets the carry up the middle, gets a couple of yards, and uh, it's second down and eight. And now we have Shirley dropping back to pass. He hits John Dunlap out of the backfield, uh, skirting the right side, and gets enough for the first down. Uh, the connection from Shirley to Dunlap for the first down, first and 10 on the Bobcat 43. Shirley over center, high formation. It's a flea flicker, hand off to Dunlap, back to Shirley. Shirley has a man, it's a man, and he catches it down around the 20 yard line. Hook, a flea flicker, we haven't seen that all year. Well, not that first down, Rex, but we've seen a lot of surprise plays in the Bobcats this year on the 20 or 19 yard line. Shirley handed off to Dunlap. Dunlap got the ball, took a couple steps, and pitched it back to Shirley. Shirley threw it wide open, uh, th threw it to a wide open Pat Mann, first and 10 at the 18. And now a mix up as uh, Shirley uh, looked like he wanted to hand it off, Hawk, but uh, missed the man and tried to get a couple on his own, but uh, no, uh, no gain on the play. That's Pat, Pat Mann simply ran a uh, goal pattern. He, he ran a post pattern and he was wide open down the middle and the ball was perfectly thrown. Pat caught the ball in full stride in the middle of the field and was brought down immediately. The tackle was by Kapotz. Uh, loss, or a gain of a yard will give him. It's second down and nine. Blairsville threatening, open, opening minutes of the ball game. Uh, no score and uh, second and nine for Shirley. Looking to pass, has the tight end. Sabolski made the tackle, but uh, Danny Shirley threw a little bit high, intending the pass for his tight end, Jimmy Rakini, and it tipped off uh, Rakini's hands up in the air, and the safety man, Williams, picked it off and got it back out to the 30-yard line, so a big turnover, and uh, uh, West Branch has the ball at their own 31-yard line. Rex, the Cats are in their customary 5-3 defense. They're stacked over the tackles, and there's a blitz on. Shall runs the ball off left tackle and picks up three yards with the ball on uh, West Branch's 33-yard line, and now the Warriors face a second and seven. Out at the 34. Luther over center, high formation. He pitches, and it's uh, the fullback, the tailback on the play, fighting for yardage, Pickard on the stop. But uh, Baronic, the tailback, got the pitch, tried the right side, had to cut inside, got a couple of yards, and Doug Pickard made the tackle. So it'll be third down, five, at the 36. Blairsville took the opening kickoff, drove it down, had a big play on the flea flicker pass from Shirley to Mann, down inside the 20, but the next pass was picked off on a tip and uh, West Branch has taken over, and a hard rush this time, and a tip pass, and it's, the ball was tipped up in the air, and the receiver comes down with it, Williams on the re reception, the ball was tipped straight up in the air, Jimmy Lucas got a piece of it, but the receiver made a heck of an adjustment, got the ball just inside the sideline at the 45 yard line, and the official said, good catch, first and 10, West Branch ball at their own 45-yard line. Rex Ray Sapolsky put a big rush on the quarterback, uh, Luther, and uh, fortunately for, for the Warriors, uh, that play could have uh, gone against them. Uh, from here, it appeared as if the receiver caught the ball with his uh, foot on the sideline. Okay, now we have Baronic going off the left side. He's stopped by Vince Sleesman. After about a, and Jimmy Riccini on his tackle after about a two-yard gain. So it's second down, eight at the 47. West Branch clad in their uh, red pants and blue trim. And now uh, we have Veronic, the tailback, trying the left side. It gets close to first down yardage. Joe Schleesman on the tackle. And he has a, a nine-yard pickup and good enough for a first down in Blairsville territory at the 44-yard line. Rex, that time the Bobcats uh, didn't penetrate on defense. Uh, they simply uh, contained, and uh, the offensive line of uh, West, West Branch uh, just neutralized them, and uh, the runner 
was able to turn the corner and pick up, pick up a nice game. We have a wing T set up for the West Branch Warriors, and now Luther fades. He looks, he has a man, complete, and he gets down inside the 30, inside the 20, down to about the 15, 16 yard line before Jimmy Lucas finally makes a stop along with Mann as the tailback out of the backfield on the swing pass, Barone took the throw from Luther and makes big yardage down to the 16 yard line where West Branch has the ball, first and 10, and they're moving the football against our fine Roseville defense. Rex West Branch uh, has uh, obviously uh, worked on a game plan for the uh, Bobcat defense. Uh, they're throwing to their backs into the flat, and they're being very Luther, pass over the middle, complete. Tackled by Kavanaugh, but the uh, Williams on the catch. big tight end, Williams, made the catch. He has over 40 catches this, this year, Hawk. Huh? The Bobcat defense to rise. They've been tremendous all season. They've been wrecking other teams' offense all season. They've got to do it again. Luther at quarterback. Hands off inside. Down to about the five. Seaprich on the carry. The 1,000-yard runner gets the call and gets the first down. Joe Gibson, Sean Bentz made the tackle, but it's a first and goal to go for the Warriors of West Branch at the Bobcat five-yard line. Very impressive drive on West Branch's first possession of the ball game. They look quick and precise. Now Luther on a mix-up. Tries the left side, and there's no gain on the play. It looked like uh, Luther was having trouble. He looked for somebody to hand off to, and uh, there was no one there, so Luther took it himself. Dave Luther, senior quarterback, at the helm. He pitches right. Seaprish inside the five, down to about the three. And we'll give him maybe the two-yard line. Joey Kolofsky on the stop, along with Sean Bentz. He got to the two. It'll be third down, goal to go at about the two and a half. Rex, that time West Branch lined up in a wing right and uh, threw all the back and alignment. He to the right side, and it was like Steve Bobby Wright from uh, Southern Cal back when he came to John McKay. Pitch right, Seaprish tries the end zone and not in. Picker. Pickard stopped him at the one yard line. So Seaprish tries the right side again. Pickard comes up from the defensive end position, fights off the block, saves a touchdown, and it's going to be fourth and goal at the one, and a big play for the rest West Branch Warriors, and the Bobcats dig in on defense. That's the Bobcats are digging in with their 6 5 goal line defense. Uh, this could be a very important play in this game. Luther gets the call. Seaprish dives in. He's in. The one yard out for the Warrior touchdown. 68 yards in 11 plays. And capped off by the one yard run by Seaprich. Dan Seaprich, the fullback. And he is uh, into the end zone at 342 in the first quarter for a 6 to nothing lead. And the extra point try by Castani, by kick. He's a left-handed, left-footed kicker, and he gets it up, and it's good. So a very impressive drive. West Branch picked off the ball on the interception by Williams, deep in their own territory, and proceeded to march. Danny kicks off. Ricky Dunlap takes it on his own 18-yard line, bobbles the ball. Now he uh, picks it up and fights it end of a 7-0 score late in the first quarter. Shelly hands off up the middle. Silco gets a couple. Johnny Silco, hard-charging fullback. Veronic makes a tackle, and we'll give him three yards and a second and seven at the 30. 
direct before the game uh, tonight. Uh, Coach Chitoy was telling me he thought he could run inside. Uh, so far, uh, they haven't been very successful going inside. West Branch is smaller than Maryville, but quick, as, as evidenced by that last touchdown drive. John Dunlap tries the right side, gets uh, about four yards out to the 34 before Scaife makes the tackle. So a gain of four, and it'll be third down and about three at the 34-yard line. As Brazil finds itself behind here on Wink FM, the score is seven to nothing with 2.15 left in the first quarter. Brazil's second possession, moving right to left on your radio dial. I formation, Shirley to Dunlap. Dunlap up the middle. He's met and stuck, short of the sticks. He gets to the 35, maybe a little bit beyond the 35-yard line, but it's going to be fourth down and a long one in a punting situation. Potts on the tackle. And uh, West Branch came to play, huh? Yeah, Rex, their defense is uh, pitching down towards the ball. The uh, tackles are simply sliding down towards the ball and stuffing Blair's goes inside the tackle. John Dunlap gets off a short punt up the side of his foot to the right and shanked out of bounds. Uh, one of the four punts we've seen this, this year as uh, the ball travels a total distance of about 10 yards, maybe not even that, Huck, as uh, West Branch is going to take over at the Blairsville 45 yard line. Uh, hey, that's not going to happen again. So West Branch takes over. Luther fades on first down. It's screen set up, and we have a uh, man out here, number 11, Caprice, with a good tackle. Uh, now he uh, has a football, but uh, they're going to whistle it dead as Ray Sabolski made the tackle, and as the two players rolled over each other, uh, sweet, uh, number 73, Sabolski, grabbed the football and started running with it, but that uh, play was whistled dead, and a loss on the screen pass. A loss of five, and it'll be second down and 15, back at the 49. Luther. Let's credit John Dunlap for making that last play, even though he didn't make the tackle. Uh, he sends the screen pass. up the middle, gets good yardage, the tailback gets the call and uh, gets a gain of 13 yards up the middle and the, it'll bring up third down for the for the Warriors and a long two at the Bobcat 37 yard line. Luther, hands up, Caprice, he got to the 35, close to first down yardage, and uh, the spot of the ball is just beyond the yard marker, and a first down for the Warriors, who have looked very impressive here in this first quarter, first quarter winding down, and uh, it's a first and 10 at the 34 yard line, and that is the end of the first quarter with the score, the West Branch Warriors seven, the Blairsville Bobcats zero, and we'll pause for this. You tell them to take two of you. Uh, I know we're spoiled. We didn't have, they didn't have a break. Oh. Start of the second quarter, Blairsville behind, seven to nothing. West Branch moving the ball right to left on your radio dial. Start of the second quarter, and Seafrish breaks the tackle on the line of scrimmage. Breaks into the secondary, down about the 15-yard line on the big gainer up the middle. And uh, it'll be first and 10 at the Bobcat 14-yard line. And a very impressive offensive machine, this West Branch Warrior Ball Club. They're making some holes in there, Rex, and uh, there's good running by the backs. They're picking their way through there. Uh, the oddity of this all is the Bulls will want to run inside against West, West Branch, but it's West Branch running inside and picking up big yards against Bullsville. Luther over center. He trips, but he gets regains his feet. He's looking. He throws. Machine 
putting on quite a show here. It's a first and goal at the one, and the Bobcats are in trouble. We need a break. Rex, that was a sensational catch, a one-handed grab by Veronic in the left corner of the uh, goal line. Goal line defense in for the Bobcats. Seafish thrown back this time. Vince Sleesman in there throws him back. He tried to hurdle up over the crowd, but the uh, big defensive tackle, Vince Sleesman, and Joe Gibson would not be denied and uh, knocked him back. And it's no gain on the play, and it's second and goal at the one. Maybe we can draw that ball loose, huh? Rex, this, this West Branch offensive line is big and strong. Their tackles are immense. Luther, hands off. And inside, hand off. The Seafish gets the call from one yard out, and uh, Bobcats find themselves behind by a score of 13 to nothing with 10.57 left in the second quarter. West Branch moves 45 yards after the uh, short punt by Blairsville. We, they moved 45 yards in six plays and for the score. And the left-handed kicker in to attempt the extra point, Castani. And the kick is up, and it is good. The West Branch Warriors, 14, the Blairsville Bobcats, zero. And we'll pause for this. Get us back as soon as you can. Easily along with Jack Serena on Wink FM, and we have Blairsville receiving the kickoff and uh, fumbles the ball. The second fumbled kickoff of the ball game for the Bobcats, as the Bobcats are not sharp, but they do recover and take over at their own 25 yard line, first and 10. John Dunlap up the middle on the drop play, gets about three. And the uh, West Branch Warriors putting on quite an offensive show here. Two possessions, two touchdowns, two extra points, and a 14 to nothing lead in the second quarter here. And Blairville has the ball, second down and six. Rex, the Bobcat coaching staff is worried about a playoff letdown, and it's obvious that the uh, Cats are not concentrating tonight. They've muffed two kickoffs. Uh, the execution isn't there. They're just sort of sleepwalking out there. Shirley back to pass. Looks, fires, has a man. Man, complete. And gets the first down. Close. It's going to be close. As Man made the reception. The quick out to Man from Shirley. Luther, the quarterback, plays the defensive back, and he makes the tackle. And they're going to bring the sticks in. Looks like a first down. Castani. It is. Yeah, Castani, middle guard. Castani. Chris Castani. Get us back as soon as you can, sir. Okay, the measurement uh, was uh, su a successful first down for the Bobcats. And now the uh, John Soko gets a pitch around the left side, and he's hit and uh, fumbles the football, but he uh, jumps back on the ball. But a loss on the play of five yards, and it's going to be second down and 15 back at the 32-yard line. So the Bobcats having trouble holding on to the football. We have Danny Shirley in a shotgun formation, and a pit. Catch the pitch, and he has a man wide open out here. Man catches it at the 40, and close to first down yardage, and has it. As the 15-yard pickup, Danny Shirley, the fat man, for 16 yards and a first down. Hoover made the stop, so we're moving the football on and through the air, and a first down at their Blairsville 47-yard line. Blairsville behind, 14 to nothing, 8.45 left second quarter and uh, 
the Blairsville fans are a little bit stunned here, huh? Rex, uh, you have to credit Jim McKinney for helping uh, Pat Meehan make that catch. Uh, Jimmy went out and he drew the outside corner back with him. And uh, that left the line open in the right flat. Okay, time out Blairsville, and we'll pause for this commercial message. First and ten, wide receiver, split wide left, Shirley looks, he fires, has a man, it's complete, Rikini, and close to first down yardage, he's tripped up about a nine yard pickup, Veronic made the tackle as uh, Rikini took the ball along the left sideline and was tripped up, we'll give him uh, a nine yard pickup, it'll be second down and a long one in Warrior territory at the 44 yard line. Rex, that time, the uh, Bobcats had three wide outs. Jimmy Lucchini was spread wide in a uh, flex position. Uh, they moved one of the backs into a wing position, and they got four receivers out into the uh, secondary in a hurry. Second and short. I look for something up the middle, try to pick up that first down, keep this drive alive. And now we have a fake, and we have a deep pass to Mann, who's open, makes the catch, has the first down, and inside the 40 to about the 38. So Pat Mann is the key receiver tonight for the Bobcats as they've been going, he's been working over that right cornerback pretty good there, Huck. A nice gain of about four yards on the play, on the hookup, Shirley to Mann, and a first down at the 38. Escape on the tackle. Offensive line has been, been doing a good job of protecting Danny Shirley, and Danny Shirley, as usual, is on target, Rex. He's having a fine year, over a thousand yards passing, the junior quarterback, Danny Shirley, and now he's looking again. No, he hands off inside. That left, breaks it open, breaks it to the second down. He's got his one man to beat, and down inside the 20 as Luther come up from the defensive back position to save a touchdown as on the draw play, Johnny Dunlap up the middle, big yardage down to the 19-yard line, first and 10 at the 19 as the Blairs offense is now getting in gear. This is what Blairsville does best, Rex. They pass the ball, and then the passing game complements the running game. That time, there was a delay, a draw up the middle. Uh, John almost broke it the whole way. That was a game. Uh, that could have been a game saving tackle by one of their defensive backs. The passes spread out the defense and open it up inside for the John Dunlap runs. And he gets it inside again, breaks the tackle at the line of scrimmage, but is met by Potts. Makes the tackle after for no gain as uh, Dunlap tried the left side. Couldn't uh, quite break the tackle at the line of scrimmage, and no gain on the play, and it'll be second and 10 at the 19-yard line. Rex, defensive end Rob Harris is the one responsible for that play. He jammed it up. Uh, he uh, knocked down the interference. He uh, forced the uh, play to stop, and he got out from his teammates. Boy, Rob Harris is playing a terrific game there at defensive end. We have Silco in motion right. Shirley has a man in the end zone. Complete for a touchdown. Dave Kavanaugh over the middle for an 18-yard touchdown pass from Danny Shirley, and he was on the money again. Huck. 75 yard drive in nine plays with the capper, the touchdown pass from 18 yards out from Danny Shirley to Dave Kavanaugh. And uh, we are down 14 to six, and John Dunlap in to, to attempt the extra point by kick. Main will hold, Brian Fair will snap, and we need this point up. John having trouble recently, but now this kick is up, and it looks like it's good. So we have a 14 to seven score, West Branch leading, 6.06 left in the first half. back as soon as you can. Back at Penn's Manor Field, John Dunlap kicks off after the 18-yard pass from Danny Shirley to Dave Cavanaugh for the first Bobcat score of the game. And uh, now we have uh, Seaprich on the carry as the kickoff was returned out to the 33 yard line. Now Seaprich, the fullback, tries the left side, gets about five before Sean Bentz 
Blairs will linebacker in Blairsville dispatch and Wink FM player of the week for the Bobcats in a big upset against United. Congratulations, Sean Benson. Five yard pickup, second and five. Luther tries the right side option. Running the ball, he has room up the middle, big gain into Blairsville territory. And down finally at the Luther on the carry down to the Bobcat 47 yard line. And uh, these these Warriors are, ki are quick hawk. Slee's been finally on the tackle. Big lineman, Rex, especially the tackles. And uh, the, the quarterback is an experienced uh, player. He throws the ball well. He's an excellent runner. Uh, they have a lot of weapons. I don't think Blairsville has played a team all year that has this kind of offense, this kind of balance. The record is 9-1. and one. Their only loss this year was to a fine Penns Valley uh, ball club. Uh, their, la their last uh, win was a 28 nothing romp over Southern Huntington. Uh, former Blairsville coach... Uh, uh, Ted Nipover coached up there for a few years, and uh, that, uh, that's a fine area for football. Now we have Seafrish trying the left side, breaking to the outside. Finally, Rikini trips him up, and Sean Benz finishes him off, and a gain of about three yards as the Warriors are moving right to left on your radio dial. They have a second down and seven at the Blairsville 44. The right defensive side of the Bobcat line at that time, Rex did a good job of holding their ground and uh, forcing uh, the runner to uh, swim towards the sideline before he was brought down on the side. Wing T formation. Now wing back gets the ball, tries the right side, and is met by Rikini. No gain on the play as Rikini and Vince make the stop along with Brian Fair in there on defense. Uh, sophomore defensive tackle, getting some playing time here. Uh, Brian Fair, now he's being uh, substituted for by, by Jimmy Lucas as Jimmy went out for a play. And now the defense is set. Rex, this is a big play for the Bobcat defense. They can stop the Warriors now. They'll force them in a punning situation, and perhaps they can move the ball down the field and score. Luther fades. Penalty flag on the play. Luther looks, has a man incomplete down inside the first down marker. Bill Williams, the leading receiver for the Warriors, gets the catch, but there is a penalty flag on the play as the pickup was of about eight yards down to the 35-yard line, but now the a preliminary indication is illegal procedure against West, West Branch, and of course, uh, Bearsville will take that penalty. Our first penalty of the game goes against the Warriors as our uh, spotter, Rich Lake, and our technician, Ray Jenkins, uh, point out that that is the first flag. We've, we're moving right along in this uh, ball game. Uh, in fact, we're moving along so fast, we haven't been able to get all our commercial breaks in, but we'll try to get caught up as the uh, we have 3.37 left in the first half. Blairsville behind, 14-7. West Branch has the ball, third and 12, back at the 48. A passing situation. Luther fakes, he looks, he fires, he has a man and it's incomplete. Over the head of the intended receiver, Baranish out of the backfield, but uh, this Luther has been on the money for most of the night, Hawk, uh, but he missed that time, and a fourth down play coming up. Yeah, Rex, he has a strong arm. He threw that ball off balance, uh, and he managed to whistle that ball out there. Uh, the receiver was uh, relatively well covered. Uh, that would have been a tough catch. And Luther also punts. He does it all. He throws, he runs, and he punts the ball, much like uh, John Dunlap does for the Bobcats. Pat Meehan is the deep receiver for the Bobcats, back on about his own 18-yard line, as Luther uh, gets the punt away, and it's just about blocked, but a booming punt. And Meehan takes on his own 17-yard line, fair catches, and Blairs will take over on their own 18-yard line. Uh, check that, the 13-yard line. Blairs will take over. So they have 347 left in the half. They have to go. 317. All right? Yeah. Check that, 317 left on it on the first half clock. And we have 87 yards to go for the uh, tying touchdown. Rex, that last score was very important for the Bobcat offense. The Bobcats were stunned and uh, needed a score, but it uh, seems like they've recovered. Shirley, draw play. John Dunlap, big hole, gets about six. And uh, Blairzo in their hurry up offense now. They uh, have to go uh, quite a distance in little time. And they uh, picked up five on that play, maybe six yards, and we'll make it second and four at the 19th. 
wide receivers split wide right, both me and Kavanaugh. Shirley over center, eye formation. Shirley drops. He looks, he has a man, and it's complete to me and out of bounds, stopping the clock, and a first down. So Pat Meehan gets his fourth catch of the night. Escape on the tackle, and a big gainer out to the 31-yard line. It's first and 10. Bobcat ball, ball they're down, 14 to seven, with 2.38 left in the half. Blairsville com coming out, passing the football. And uh, Danny Shirley having a big year, the junior quarterback. Referee, plenty of time for the Bobcats to get on the board again. Uh, that was a wise call, throwing the sideline pass, uh, good reception. The clock stopped, and now the Bobcats are uh, lined up in a high formation. Uh, Rikini tight left, and uh, both ends are split. Check that, Dave Manfredi in at the guard position. Now we have Shirley dropping, but he's sacked. He pump faked, he wanted to go deep, but Mann was covered, and I had to take the sack as Williams got in there and made the, Bill Williams made the tackle for a loss on the play of five, and a second down and 15 at the 27, with 2.15 left in the first half. Blairs are on the short end of a 14 to seven score to this fine West Branch Warrior bunch. Show. Drops, looks, thinks, screen left, and incomplete. Uh, intended for Dunlap. The, bo the ball was a little bit long. Uh, there was pressure by the uh, linebacker on the play, and the ball fell incomplete, and it'll be third down and 15. Had that pass been complete, Wes, the Bobcats would have picked up big yardage. There was a convoy of three blockers in front of John, but the ball was uh, uh, slightly overthrown. So we have third down, and a big third down play it is. We don't want to relinquish that football, and at the same time, we want to keep this drive alive. We have to get to the 42-yard line to pick up the first down. We have wide receivers split wide right. Shirley calls signal. Now we have man in motion. And now he drops, Shirley looking, over the middle, has a man, and it's incomplete, in and out of the hands, T touched by man, and then the defensive back had a shot at it, but he dropped it, and it falls incomplete, but it's fourth down, and the Warriors hold, and a punting situation for Blairsville, fourth and 15, with 149 left in the half. At the half, stay tuned, we're going to review the Bobcat season, and uh, now Dunlap gets a kickoff, uh, not a real good one, as uh, John Dunlap having his troubles kicking the football, punting the football rather, and the ball goes out of bounds at the 49 yard line as uh, West Branch takes over in good field position at the Blairsville 49 with 148 left and a half. Affects the uh, kicking game. No question about it, uh, Rex, the ball's uh, heavier. The air is thicker, and I'll get that it just makes it so Fumble on the play. Uh, the fullback, Seaprish, got the call, fumbled the football, but the uh, Vince Sleesman made the tackle. The ball popped loose, but the uh, West Branch uh, ball carrier recovered for a, about a three-yard gain, and it's second down and seven. West Branch ball in Bairsville territory at the 46-yard line. Luther, back to pass. He looks, fire has a man, in, 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 incomplete. As uh, Jimmy Rickey dropped on the play, he had the ball in his mitts. Maybe he was looking down the sideline, seeing what kind of running room he could have there. But uh, the ball was in and out of his hands, and incomplete, and a third down, and seven at the 46 yard line. So it's the little things, Doc, the little things that uh, uh, make a difference between winning and losing uh, as we almost had an interception there, but uh, the ball drops loose and now uh, West Branch gets another chance. Luther fades, he looks, he's firing long. He has a man out there and it's complete for Williams and he breaks the tackle and goes in for the touchdown. The West Branch Warriors strike again. West Branch Warriors makes a big play as he 
went up for the football. Luther threw the ball up for grabs. Williams went up with Joey Schleesman. He pulled down the football, broke Schleesman's tackle at about the 10, and then walked in for the touchdown to make the score. West Branch 20, and the kick for the extra point is up, and it's good. Extra point as the uh, West Branch Warriors go. 49 yards in three plays. That pass play. How long was that pass? 47. 47 yards. It's back. The West Branch Warriors. Strike again, this time from the air, from 47 yards out. The quarterback, Dave Luther, hits the big tight end, Bill Williams, from 47 yards, and a West Branch touchdown. And now Blairsville has the football down 21 to 7. Now we have wide receivers right. Yes, Shirley fading, looking long, has a man, and Kavanaugh is open, but the ball is a little bit behind him and incomplete. As uh, Williams was there in the coverage. But uh, this West Branch Warrior outfit is uh, putting on a show here offensively tonight. The quarterback last touchdown play. Bill Williams had a beat on that ball the whole way down, and uh, Pat uh, had his back turned towards the ball. The ball was underthrown. Uh, Williams came back and made the grab. Uh, Pat made the hit. Uh, however, uh, Williams uh, was able to stand on his feet and stumble into the end zone. Uh, that was a very fortunate pass completion for the West Branch Warrior. Shirley Fade, second and ten. Looks, has a man. It is. The ball was tipped, and now the ball, the officials say that the ball hit the ground as uh, the ball was tipped, and it looked like Capronich may have come up with an interception here. He dove for the football, but the officials right there said that the ball had touched the ground, and it'll be third and ten on the incompletion at the 41 with 33 seconds left in the half. And Blairsville looking to put one more score on before the half uh, with the ball at their own 42-yard line. Shirley, wide receiver split wide right. Big draw, and it is a draw to Silco. He tries the right side, breaks a few tackles, and falls forward for about a two-yard gain. And a fourth down play. Williams and Potts on the tackle. And it's a fourth down, and I think uh, Blairsville is going to let the clock run out on this fourth down play. Uh, West Branch has some timeouts to use, but they're not going to take there. They're, they're going to settle for this 21-7 to halftime lead as the clock runs out. Ending the first half with the score, the West Branch Warriors 21, the Blairsville Bobcats 7, and we'll be back. And the uh, Cats had an opportunity to go up back up to Connemaw Valley in similar weather condition, but this time the Bobcats prevailed 20 to 6. And uh, finally, as we know last week, uh, the Bobcats once again, uh, and I thought since the middle of the second quarter of the first game that Blairsville was the better team, this time they beat United 12 to 6, and they even the score. However, tonight they're having their problems with the West Branch Warriors. Yeah, Rex, that time the Bobcats were on the move. Uh, they were knocked on the door, and it seemed as if they were going to get on the board uh, in a hurry. Uh, however, uh, the fortunes of football changed quickly, and uh, West Branch intercepted the ball and brought it out to the 30. As the, okay, the, the leading rusher for the Bobcats, the tailback, John Dunlap, he's the leading rusher on the season. He and uh, Johnny Silco, the senior running backs, both uh, up well over 400 yards, or rather 600 yards in the rushing department. Uh, the, in the passing department for uh, West Branch, Luther is six for seven for 102 yards and one touchdown. And the leading rusher is their 1,000-yard uh, rusher, Caprice, the, uh, tail, uh, the fullback with 12 carries. The Bobcats uh, may have to uh, throw more than they would like to, but I feel that that's their only chance of getting back into this game. Now, West Branch, on the other, time, on the other hand, I think is going to have to find a way to put some more pressure on Danny if they want to uh, maintain their public lead in this game. Okay, Bears will kick off, and uh, kick is a good one. John Dunlap to Williams up the middle, and he breaks.
breaks a tackle, breaks another, breaks in the second there, and finally brought down out to about the 38 yard line, but a good run back. Terry Witchin made the hit for the Bobcats, but uh, he was one of the last men, one of the last men to uh, be in a position to make that play as the uh, West Branch Warriors take over, first and 10 at their own 38 yard line, leading 21 to seven, opening minute of the third quarter. Luther over center, we have uh, wing back right, and a handoff inside, and uh, nothing. As the Seafish gets the call, and Ray Sabolski made the tackle, a gain of two, and it'll be second down and eight at the West Branch 41-yard line. Rex, I saw a defensive adjustment there uh, in that particular, uh, before that particular snap, uh, Breswell appeared to be in a seven-diamond defense. Seven linemen with the middle linebacker, uh, two corners, and a uh, safety man. So a little uh, change, maybe adjustment by the defensive personnel for the Bobcats. Now we have uh, a pitch right, and it's stopped for a loss on the play by uh, Doug Pickard, makes the big defensive play, he charges in from his left defensive end position, and there's a loss on the play of four, and it'll be third down and 12 back at the 36. I think the Bobcats are delivering a message on defense here, that's, uh, I think they're trying to tell West Branch that they're not gonna run against them in the second half, and uh, so far they've stuck them cold. Luther fades, he looks, he has a man over the middle and it's caught, no, incomplete, as the Williams went up for the catch, was met hard by Kavanaugh and Dunlap and the ball popped to the ground, incomplete, and it'll be fourth down in a punting situation for West Branch. Now that's exactly what Bersville has to do, Rex. Uh, they have to uh, put West Branch in a third and long yardage situation so that uh, their defense uh, has a better idea of uh, what play the Warriors are going to run and they can be prepared for it. Bears has a block on, he, they charge in from the left side and they don't get to the kicker. Luther gets a good punt off and man takes it on the run and uh, tries to hurdle a tackler, but a uh, short punt as uh, man took it on the fly, made the catch, Baranich made the tackle, but Blairsville in good field position takes over first and 10 at their own 46 yard line. Danny Shirley, quarterback. Silco, John Dunlap, the running backs. We have wide receivers split wide right. Strong right formation. And Shirley hands off up the middle. Silco gets the call and gets a couple. Tony Silco, senior running back. Stopped by Potts. Gain of two. It'll be second and eight at the 48. Since the beginning of this game. It looks like the West Branch scouting team has done the job so far in stopping this uh, Blairsville attack. Now we have Shirley pitching right. And uh, Silco makes it to the right side. It breaks into the Oakland, breaks into the secondary down to the 35 yard line. A nice scanner by Donnie Silco. A good pickup of about 14 yards and a first down in West Branch territory at the 37 yard line before Scott Williams brings him down. But Blairsville moving into the football right to left on your radio dial. Early third quarter here on Wink FM. Hawk Serena along with yours truly, Rex Easley, bringing you the action. With Blairsville behind, 21 to 7, 9 13 left in the third quarter. First and 10, Blairsville ball. Shirley, man in motion left, man. Pitch left. Silco tries the left side, cuts and breaks into the secondary. And a nice gain of about six yards by Johnny Silco as the, the Bobcats having some success uh, running the ends against the uh, West Branch Warrior defense. What the Warrior? 32 yard line. Shirley, one man in the backfield is Silco. We have wide receiver, split wide right, and now man in motion, Kavanaugh goes to the right. And we have a throw to the right to Kavanaugh, it's complete. And he tries to get outside, and for his brought down as a uh, defensive back come up and made the play for a short gain on the play. Something different, we haven't seen that play, but uh, Doug Williams made the defensive stop, and a gain of one, and a third down, and at the 31-yard line. Cousins, that was an excellent twist off 
what appeared to be the same running play. The uh, motion uh, to the outside and the quick pitch. However, uh, there was a fake on that, and uh, Danny hit Dave Cavanaugh in the uh, flat in the backfield. Uh, however, uh, a nice play by the defensive end by Westway. Shotgun formation. Third and four. Shirley, handoff up the middle. Dunlap has the first down, and Moore, he get, tries the right side and gets down inside the 25 for a first down. Stopped by Luther, but will take the uh, first down at the 24-yard line and a new set of downs, and we're driving and trying to get back into this ball game a little bit. Excellent blocking by the right side of the Bobcat line. Uh, there were no red and royal uh, colors that could be seen in that play, Rex. So we're having some success, skirting the ends, getting some good yardage, and uh, we have a first and 10 at, they've marked it now at the 25 yard line. Right to left on your radio dial. Here at Penn's Manor Field, and a pitch left. Trying to wait wide side, and Silco has an opening, and he has, is down inside the 15 to 14, and finally driven out of bounds at the 13 yard line with a gain of about eight yards. Scape finally made the tackle, but we're trying the ends and having some success, and it's, uh, now we have, uh, we, have, we have given him 10 yards on the play and a first and 10 at the West Branch 13 yard line. Rex, the uh, receivers are doing an outstanding job of blocking. That time Pat Meehan had good position and he sealed off the inside linebackers. And uh, consequently, there's no inside pursuit, and Blairswell can turn the corner and pick up big yards. Split back, Shirley hands off inside, Silco gets down inside the 10 to about the nine yard line. Johnny Silco up the middle, and uh, these end sweeps are opening up things on those splits inside, Hawk, and we're getting some good yardage inside now as Johnny Silco picked up five. Veronic on the stop, it's second nine and five at the nine, and we need to punch this one in. We're actually up to credit the Bobcat coaching staff making some excellent halftime adjustments. Uh, the running game is, uh, is is effective this third quarter, and uh, they haven't thrown the ball uh, just, just one time in this trial. High formation, hand off to Dunlap, uh, but good penetration that time as the uh, middle guard, number 62 in there, Burnick on the tackle, tripped up down that almost as soon as he got the football and a no gain on the play and it's gonna be third down and a key third down for the Bobcats at the nine yard line. And uh, we need to uh, pick up this first down or, or maybe get the ball into the end zone this time to uh, get within one score. I think this running left. strategy has surprised the uh, West, Branch, uh, West Branch team and their coaches, Rex. I don't think they expected the Cats to come out running like this. Silk on motion right. Shirley drops, looks, has a man, and a tip, and incomplete. The ball was intended for Kavanaugh. There's a penalty flag on the play. It could be defensive holding. We got a flag on the nine The penalty flag on the play is side against Blairsville, probably be the decline. That should nullify the play and have them play it over. Well, Rex, I was hoping it was defensive hold. Okay, the signal was offside, and uh, the, yes, they, uh, they took the penalty. They, they called the play dead, and uh, the five-yard penalty puts the ball back at the 14, where it's third and 10. Wide receiver split wide right. Shirley fades. He looks, has a man, and it's complete. But uh, he's met immediately by Seafrish. John Dunlap opening the flat momentarily, cut the pass, but Seafrish was there on the coverage, made the tackle. Uh, amazingly, John held on, but uh, again, it's going to be fourth down and 10. And uh, uh, timeout. There's a. I think Jimmy, what, we have to do is, what do you think? Alley oop, Rikini. I think we got to clear out. Clear out a side and flood it. Get us back. Second half. 
It is Charlie Pace, fourth down play, has a man in it, incomplete. Broken up by Seaprish. Seaprish broke it up, it was intended for Rikini. He was open momentarily, but the uh, defensive back on the play, Seaprish uh, batted it away, and uh, it's incomplete, and now West Branch takes over, first and 10 at their own 13-yard line, and a, uh, a pivotal play it may have been, Hawk. The responsibility for victory and defeat now rests once again on the defense, Rex. Luther, hands off left. Seifert gets a couple, maybe four. Pickard and Meehan. Pickard and Meehan on the stop. A gain of four yards. It'll be second down and six at the West Branch 17-yard line. West Branch leading 21 to seven. 4.55 left in the third quarter in this Class A District 6 semifinal. And Baranish tries the left side and a fumble and the fumble is recovered by the Bobcats. So we get a big break. Big play by the defense, Rex. As the Bobcats cover the fumble and uh, I didn't see who got the ball for the Bobcats. It may have been uh, Vince Sleesman on that coverage. So Blairsville gets the fumble and uh, gets the football at the West Branch 18-yard line. So this hard-hitting defense knocks the ball loose. Vince Sleesman falls on it, and we're back in uh, threatening. We have wide receivers split wide right, eye formation. Shirley, hands off inside to Silco, breaks into second down, down to the five, ten, and now he gets down to the six-yard line as Johnny Silco, hard-charging senior fullback, gets a big gainer of 13 yards down to the six, and it's first and goal for the Bobcats. We got a break, Hawk. We recovered the fumble, and now we're threatening again. We have to capitalize on this break, Rex. It's imperative. High formation. Now we have a wing back right. Swanson in the ball game. Shirley, hands off inside. Dunlap cuts back inside the five. Still charging, and down to about the three. John Dunlap. Stopped by Seaprich. We'll give him the three yard line by the uh, fourth down incomplete pass on the fourth down play. Uh, West Branch took over, but fumbled the ball right back, and now Blairs will threaten it again, down two scores. Second and goal at the three. Shirley, hands off inside, Dunlap, tried and stopped. He stopped that time. No gain on the play, and it's gonna be third down. In fact, uh, he may have lost the yard, Hawk. Well, it's obvious now, uh, Rex, uh, the Bobcats have to go outside if they want to get that ball in the end zone. Uh, I, I think maybe that uh, motion pitch uh, that's been so effective during the second half, or uh, maybe a uh, pass run option uh, for Danny Shirley. Third down. I think they have to go outside. Uh, well, they have a cheat back up there. Uh, they might try to power the left tackle. Third and goal. Shirley drops. He looks, has a man, and it's incomplete. Over the head of man, and it's going to be fourth down. The pass was a little bit too tall. Fat man was open momentarily, but uh, Shirley's pass a little bit high, and it's gonna be fourth and goal at the four, and this is the pivotal play of the ball game. Fourth down play, and we have uh, wide receiver split wide right, and we have Shirley with split back, calling the signals, and he takes the pitch, fakes, looks, has a man, complete! Forward progress, just enough as the John Dunlap made the catch. He was hit immediately, but he had broken the plane, the line of scrimmage, uh, the, the goal line plane, and the touchdown from Danny Shirley. Get us back as soon as you can.
back on Wink FM with Blairsville going for the two-point conversion, and it's a pass and incomplete. So the two-point conversion, no good, and uh, that uh, injury uh, was costly. Uh, Huck, as uh, Dunlap had to come out of the ball. Yeah, that foot is, if it, if it is in fact that foot, uh, that kicking foot that he uh, injured. But he uh, it seems to be all right now, although he's walking a little bit gingerly. Blairsville down, 21 to 13, with 2.25 left, third quarter, and kicking off to West Branch. It's a squib kick, and uh, it's taken by uh, the uh, up back, Luther, the quarterback, and he's dropped at the 33 yard line by Terry Witchin, who is uh, having his uh, presence felt here on the kick uh, coverage team. Terry Witchin making the stop, but uh, the squib kick goes to West Branch, who takes over at their own 33 yard line. In fact, the Terry which almost got caught too far inside and tackled uh, Luther by the jerk. There's one their 53 defense. T pass over the middle of the tight end. Williams makes the catch and drives to the first down. The leading receiver for the Warriors, Billy Williams, makes the catch over the middle on the first down toss. And uh, Luther right on the, on the money. Lucas and Fair. Jimmy Lucas made the tackle along with Brian Fair, but it's good enough for 10 yards and a first and 10 at the 44 yard line. We actually have to credit the West Branch team. They're trying to make something happen here. They're not sitting on this lead. They're putting the ball in the air. Baronish on a reverse. And fumble on the play. And now they're going to say he was down as uh, Baronish was stripped of the football after about a nine-yard pickup. Lucas. Lucas on the stop along with Brian Fair. And uh, again, the uh, gain of about nine into Blairsville territory at the 47 yard line, where it'll be second and one. At that time, the Warriors ran and missed the uh, crossbuck play there. Uh, the Bobcat uh, linebackers then stayed home on that play. Cronish. With the uh, initial throw, and uh, West Branch has uh, picked up some huge yardage. Uh, this time, West Branch. Uh, Rips off a big game of that left tackle for a big first down there. Farrah on a tackle, and it's first and 10. West Branch ball at the Bobcat 37 yard line, and a handoff up the middle. And short yardage on the play as Jimmy Lucas makes the stop on Seaprish. Bentz helped out on the tackle, a gain of about three. And it'll be second down, seven, at the Bobcat 34-yard line. Rex, this is an impressive drive. Uh, the Warriors are running dives, misdirections, they're throwing the ball. They're, they're keeping the Bobcat defense off balance. Luther, right to the right, pitches the football, and it's uh, cut by the uh, tailback, Veronish, and Pickard made the stop. The dangerous play, but the quarterback uh, making the pitch, and that's the end of the third quarter with the score, West Branch 21, Blairsville 13, and we'll pause for this. This back. We're back with the third down and four, and the quarterback Luther rolls right, and he's looking, and he's looking, and he's sacked by Sobolski and Pickard. He's sacked for about a seven-yard loss, so it'll be uh, fourth down and 10 back at the 37-yard line, and uh, it looks like that... Uh, now Luther's back in punt formation on fourth and ten, trying to pin the Bobcats deep as uh, Kavanaugh goes back from the safety position to cover this punt. Now, Luther gets the punt off, and it's a short one, and it goes out of bounds as uh, the punting uh, game's uh, a little bit uh, treacherous here for both ball clubs as uh, the Bobcats get a break as the uh, punt did not even clear the uh, first down sticks, Hawk. So Blurs was going to take over in very good field position. Well, not real good, but uh, we'll take over at the 30-yard line instead of uh, back uh, maybe inside the 10. Considering the situation, though, Rex, uh, we have ideal field position. Uh, we could have very easily had that ball deep uh, inside our 10-yard line. 
opening minute, fourth quarter. Blairs will down, 21-13. Wide receivers right, handoff inside. Silka up the middle. And he gets a couple. As we're down, eight points. We're a touchdown and a two-point extra point away from uh, tying this ball game up and uh, possibly sending it into overtime. Well, as do we have to have a winner here? The Bobcats look impressive the second half, Rex. Uh, the, the senior leadership and the tradition uh, that baseball has, the, the, the character, everything is starting to surface. Uh, now, whether we have enough time and whether we can execute remains to be seen. Wide receivers right. High formation. And off no fake. Tight end, Rikini, first down. And it takes four, five, six tacklers to bring down Jimmy Rikini. But he makes the catch over the middle, fights for the extra yardage, gets the first down, and we have a new set of downs at the 43-yard line, first and 10. Once again, Rex, these two teams mirror one another so well. Uh, that time they uh, faked the dive and hit Jimmy Rikini over the middle with a quick slant pass, with a quick slant pass, uh, just like West Branch did the last time they had the ball. Wide receivers right again. One man in the backfield, and it's a pitch right to uh, Silco. Silco tries the right side, outside, gets uh, four, four yards before he's finally tripped up, and uh, out to the 47-yard line. Williams on the stop. A gain of four for Johnny Silco, and it'll be second down six. Excellent blocking by the tight end, Jimmy Rikini, Rex. Uh, when you block somebody, you don't have to knock them down. You get position, and you seal them off, and oftentimes that's good enough. And uh, Johnny Silco was able to turn the corner there because of the good seal block by Jimmy Rikini. Second down six, wide receivers left this side, wide side of the field left. High formation, Shirley fades. He looks, he pelts, he fires, has a man, and then intercepted. Luther on their interception, and there's a clip on the run back, but uh, Luther, as the uh, receiver on the play, had fallen down. Blairsville receiver fell down on the play, and uh, Luther made the interception as the uh, defensive back uh, on the run back. There is a clip. So uh, West Branch will get the football, but uh, we'll mark it back from the point of the foul, 15 yards, and uh, West Branch will take over. So, so the Bobcats uh, come up with the, uh, the turnover, uh, but uh, they're, uh, they've got West Branch pinned back at their own 30-yard uh, line where they'll take over first and 10. Rex, Danny made a bad decision that time. Uh, I think uh, he's playing with so much confidence now, he's trying to do more than he actually can. He threw that ball off one foot, and he sort of threw it side on. Uh, just a, a poor throw and a bad decision. Okay, first and 10, West Branch ball, and it's up to the defense now. Luther, hand off inside, and he's met and hit hard, but a second effort for Seifrich. He's the 1,000-yard uh, running back, and he uh, shows his worth as the second effort gets him out to the uh, about five-yard pickup where Sobolski stops him along with Joey Gibson, and it's second down five out at the 35. It's absolutely necessary, Rex, that the uh, Bobcats stop the Warriors, force them to punt the ball. It's imperative that uh, they get the ball, otherwise the Warriors are going to start making the clock, and now the clock is definitely in their favor. Luther, hands up inside, man, he has the ball, Veronish, and he's uh, finally met after about a nine-yard pickup by Kavanaugh, but uh, not before the Pat Meehan, rather, on the, on the stop. Pat Meehan made the big stick, but uh, he got into the secondary for a nine-yard pickup, ten yards, and the first down out at the 45-yard line. Rex, that was an outstanding technique tackle. Uh, the runner was out in the open field. Pat Meehan came up, put his face mask right on his number, stopped him in his tracks, and dumped him. A classic tackle. One of those wrestler uh, pancake moves. How about it, Rock? Now we have to stop him. First and 10 at the 45. Luther, hands off inside another hole, and uh, Baranish has it, and he gets about 12 yards. Before he's finally brought down, uh, Seifrich on the carry. Check that before Sean Vince knocks him down and uh, makes the tackle. But it's in uh, Bobcat territory. First and 10 at the 43-yard line. And uh, the West Branch Warriors having a lot of success running inside the tackles on this drive. The Warriors are on a war path, Rex. 
Thurston. Hand off inside again. And uh, gets about five before uh, Brownish that time. Before the tailback gets the call, gets about, we'll give him four yards inside the 40 at the 39. And it's second down, six, 7-19 left of the ball game. West Branch 21, Blairsville 13. And the defense has to get tough. We need a big play, Rex. We need a turnover of some sort. Luther fades, looking, has, has a man over the middle, and it's incomplete as the ball hit just short of the receiver. And Williams was the intended receiver on the play, but uh, the ball come up short and incomplete, and it'll be third down and six at the 39. That was a hezzy play by Warrior quarterback Dave Luther. Nobody was open into the ground uh, where it was almost impossible to intercept. And we have a timeout West Branch. Season. Lozier was behind in his Class A District 6 semifinal ball game by a score of 21-13 for the West Branch Warriors. West Branch has the ball, third and six at the Bobcat 39. Luther rolls right, looks, has a man, complete. Close to first down yardage, and he's bumped around and finally knocked down as uh, Williams made the reception. The they big tight end. Short, Rex. They uh, got a, a very uh, good spot on that play. They gave him a uh, forward progress, uh, Hawk, but he was uh, knocked back and running on his on his feet. Uh, and now we're going to have a measurement as the uh, now the West Branch faithful are disappointed. They think they got a bad spot, but. Uh, a Tyrone game. The score is uh, United 27, Tyrone 20, and a thriller up there. And uh, that's not over yet. And now we have a fourth down play and about uh, two feet for the Warriors. And uh, of course they'll go for it at the 30. in on fourth and less than a yard, and the quarterback keeper, and he, Luther, I think, gets it. He picked up uh, more than a yard as uh, Vince Sleesman made the stop, but uh, Luther on the quarterback keeper gets the first down, and it's a first and 10 at the 32-yard line. West Branch is holding true to form, Rex. Uh, you don't know what they're going to do. That's the first time they ran the quarterback sneak all night. Okay, short yardage play. Luther picks it up, and they have a new set of downs with 6-12 left in the ball game. West Branch leading 21-13 and uh, driving. Luther hands off. Inside, Baranish on the stop. Finally, the whistle. He gets about three as uh, Joey Gibson and uh, Jimmy Rakini makes the stop. And it's a uh, three yard pickup in a second down, seven at the third. Uh, this West Branch team is a talented outfit. Lead. They stuck it to the Bobcats early with a 14 and nothing lead. Blair's Rose has been coming back ever since. Hand off inside, nothing that time. Uh, Seafresh got the call, but uh, Jimmy Rakini made the play from the tight end, from the defensive end position for no gain, and it'll be third down, seven, and a passing situation for the Warriors. Excellent defense on uh, those last two plays, Rex. Uh, the Cats have uh, put West Branch in a precarious position here, third and long. Uh, whether they'll put it up or not, I don't know, but I, I like to think that uh, they will because they've been doing it all year. Pitch left. Ronish tries to get to 25. He's going to be short of the first down as uh, Rakini made a tackle along with uh, Vince Leesman. And it's going to be a five-yard pickup. And a fourth down, two, just inside the 25 at the 24. So another fourth down play, perhaps a little bit longer than last time. But uh, again, four down territory for the Warriors. And uh, Blairsville has to come up with a deep, big defensive stop. Rex, look for a pass on the right flat or uh, down the middle, or about a short pass, maybe six or seven yards. Luther yeah. rolls and hits the tight end for the first down. He breaks a tackle down to the 15 yard line. The bread and butter receiver for the Warriors. Billy Williams makes the big catch. Joey Sleesman on the stop, but again, the second straight 
fourth down play is converted by the West Branch Warriors, and it's a first and 10 at the 15 with 4.05 left in the ball game on a moving clock. Bob Katz in trouble. West Branch moving the football right to left on your radio dial. We have a hand up inside, and it's uh, Caprice Seacrest fumbled the football, but uh, John Dunham made the tackle. Seacrest uh, spun out of there, got the football back, and uh, drove for about four yards. It'll be second down and six at the 12-yard line. Luther over center. Wing back right. Hands up fake. Now Veronish gets inside the 10 to about the eight yard line before he's tripped up. Right. Sean Vince on the tackle. Along with Kavanaugh, but it's a uh, pickup of about five and a third down and a long two at the seven yard line. And three minutes. Three minutes left in the ball game. And uh, we have to hold the ball, hold the uh, Warriors out, of, keep the Warriors out of the end zone, and try for a miracle finish. West Branch, the Warriors running backs have a tremendous balance. They run low to the ground, and they're getting good blocking from the front line. Seafrish over right tackle gets the first down inside the five to about the three yard line. So the four yard pickup over right tackle. Gets four yards, and it's first and goal at the three, and Brazil comes with their goal line defense on the uh, first and goal. West Branch moving into football. Seepers tries the middle, still driving, still driving, and has the touchdown from three yards out. The three-yard touchdown run by Dan Seepers, and... Uh, the score is now 27 to 13. West Branch leads with 2.15 left. They moved it 70 yards in 14 plays with Seaprish getting the call from three yards out. And uh, now the try for the kick on the extra point is up. And it's good. Uh, that uh, the uh, paramedics can uh, take uh, take charge here and uh, get things sorted out. But uh, Blairsville is behind by a score of 28 to 13. And Blairsville receives the kickoff, and it's uh, and it's a long pass to uh, and it fumbled, but Kevin picks it up and tries the left side as Blairsville uh, tries to go for the uh, uh, trick play on the kick return as we had uh, the long lateral. Rakini got the football on about the 20 yard line, started running to the right. Kavanaugh was behind him all by himself on the left and the long lateral to the other side of the football field may have gone Hawk had uh, Kavanaugh caught the ball on the fly but the ball slipped through his fingers and he had to scramble for it and uh, got back to the 24 yard line. Yeah, had he held on to that uh, lateral Rex, there was nothing but open field in front of him. That could have been a big, big gainer. Shotgun formation, Shirley takes the snap, looks, fires, has a man, Rikini, and it's incomplete uh, as the ball is on the target but a little low and uh, fell incomplete for, uh, it'll be second down. Second down and 10 with 1.59 left in the ball game and Blairsville down two scores and we have a uh, equipment timeout. We are West Branch, West Lebanon, excuse me, for West Branch, for the Bobcats. Uh, it's been a glorious year. However, uh, they met their match tonight. West Branch just did a tremendous job. Now we have a flea flicker to be right over. Kevin I has it behind everybody. Pick it up. They're running. Luther on the saving tackle as we had a double reverse. The pitch back to Shirley. He threw to a wide open. Dave Cavanaugh behind everybody. 
and Dave had to stop for the football to catch the football, allowing Luther to catch up with him. And uh, he took the ball and ran down to the 22-yard line. So we're still alive as the clock stops to move the sticks with 145 left. And the ball's at the first and 10 at the 22-yard line. What pride, what character, what tradition, Rex. Uh, this is unbelievable. The, unbelievable. The Bobcats will not give up. Now we have Shirley fainting, looking, pump fakes, firing in the end zone, and oh, incomplete. And Kavanaugh was there. He looked like he had a chance to get that pass, and it just slipped out of his hand. He may have been tired from the previous play, Hawk, but a uh, good try by Dave uh, Kavanaugh. And they have a second and 10 at the 21-yard line. I'm sure Dave would like to have another chance of catching that football. But uh, Dave doesn't miss too many of them. Shotgun formation. Man in motion, left is mid. We have a Shirley looking. Screen up the middle. Dunlap has it. He has running room. He's looking for the end zone. He's driven forward to the five-yard line. And it is the five-yard line first and goal at the five. The clock stops with 118 left in the ballgame. And now Blairsville calls time and got the call made the catch and got to the five yard line where we have first and goal to go at the five. He may have given him a couple plays in case this one doesn't work, but uh, we need to get a quick one. And we have an eye formation, Rakini split wide right and Shirley over center. Takes the snap, looks, it's alley for Rakini. He goes up and it's complete. Jimmy Rakini on the alley pass up and we have a score. With 113 left, we have the alley oop complete for, to Jimmy Rakini from five yards out, and a Blairsville score, and it's 28 to 19. You have seen here tonight. Alley oop, we called for it earlier and uh, didn't get the call, but the, to big Jimmy Rakini stretched out that big 6 5 frame, and the defensive back is about 5 10. Maybe we'll go for the same play on the extra point off. Rakini's lined up at tight end this time. We have Shirley looking, and now he fires as a man. It's complete for the two point conversion. Rakini. Rakini open again, and we have a 28 21 ball game on two passes to Jimmy Rakini. Going to recover this onside kick. Uh, they've done everything right uh, since West Branch has scored this last touchdown. West Branch thought they put him away. It looked like it was the coup de grace, but it isn't. Rex. There's still life for those Bobcats. Never say die, Blair's with Bobcats. And now we have a time out. Special message with the score West Branch 28, Blairsville 20 Warriors. 28, the Blairsville Bobcats 21. There's 113 left in the ball game. Blairsville has to kick off. The West Branch team has just called a uh, timeout, getting their uh, sure-handed uh, uh, kick returners in. I don't know, Rex. I see a lot of linemen number up here in the front lines. Uh, I see uh, 70s, 60s. So perhaps uh, they're not expecting an onside kick, but that, uh, the situation short calls for it, huh? Everybody else at the game is. Dunlap will kick off, and uh, Blairsville has to stay on side here, get the ball 10 yards and, and jump on the football. And now we have the up man. Uh, Sabolski kicks the football, and it's down, and it's a little bit too far. Uh, as uh, I don't know whether they had practice to play. Seafresh covered the football down at the 35-yard yard line. I don't know whether they practiced to play or not, Hog, but uh, uh, Sabolski kicked the ball and a little bit too hard. No and question about it, uh, Rex. The ball just uh, traveled too far. There was no chance for the uh, Bobcat. So I think the Bobcats have two timeouts left. I'm not uh, sure. And maybe just one. But uh, the ball is at the 36-yard line where, with 52 seconds left. Uh, 50 now on a moving clock. And uh, I, I don't think the Bobcats are going to get the ball. We have to tackle football, Rex. Uh, somebody has to tackle, hold up the runner, and uh, his teammates have to come in and put hands and helmets on the football. Okay, Luke. It doesn't look like we're going to get that opportunity because Luther simply took, uh, took a couple steps back and uh, uh, kneeled to the ground, and uh, that uh, stopped the play in the Bobcats' ball line. Get at Point Stadium in Johnstown. And now we have Luther down in the football again and uh, the clock running, and I don't think the Bobcats can stop the clock this time. It doesn't look like, Rex, uh, if the Bobcats look, should lose this game, and it's apparent that uh, they are, 
Uh, they can walk off this field with their heads high. Uh, they have nothing to be ashamed of. They have provided us with so many thrills this season. Uh, but this is a Hall of Fame year, and uh, every football fan of Bozeville will remember this team and what they've done for the community and what they've done for the community. And the clock is winding down. Three, two, one. And that's the end of the ball game with the final score. The West Branch Warriors, 28. The Blairsville Bobcats, 21. And uh, the uh, teams are out on the field shaking hands now uh, in a very uh, sportsmanlike manner. And as Hawk uh, said, uh, nothing to be ashamed of. The uh, Bobcats having a fine season. And uh, we'll review uh, some of the highlights of this game and uh, some of the highlights of the season in our post-game show. Uh, and we'll pause now for this message and be back with our post-game wrap-up. Okay, we're going to keep it right here.